guys, what's up? Back with some more Final Fantasy 16. And last time we killed <laughs> Kuka, finally. That mf -er. <laughs> Uh, yeah, then we uh, did all these side quests, and then I believe we are good to continue on the next uh, main mission. Uh, real quick. Uh, so we destroyed three of the Mother Crystals. Wow, this place is so barren up there. Uh, so here, we start with this one, destroyed that one, that's the... I can't remember which, is that the Imperial? Imperial's Mother Crystal? Um, then we destroyed uh, Dr the Drake's Fane. I really don't remember <laughs> each of these names. But pretty much the Fire Crystal. Um, then we just destroyed... I don't remember... These... I don't remember where the other crystal formation was. It's like here somewhere? If we look at the local map... I don't remember where it was. Yeah, I don't know which crystal's next. And we're trying to destroy all of them. The pretty much give bearers a higher status in life. Yeah, as long as there's crystals in the world, uh, bears are second class citizens for whatever reason. That makes no sense to me. If I don't come up with something soon. But yeah, let's see what's up next. Oh yeah, I think we're supposed to go all back right, to the old hideout. What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, yeah. and I thought you might like to come with me. Is it old? Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. Oh what? I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> <laughs> displacement oh, stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, oh, yeah, we're making an airship. finest Ooh, the ship the world has ever seen. Nice. The Enterprise. Oh, wait, is it going to be a ship ship or an airship ship? Looks like a regular ship. Me and my ship. dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours Ooh. is fitted with mithril engines. This is really cool. And those this... things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood. This is like, and more uh, heat than all the hells put together. Very loose. Which is where the stack comes in. Old Final Fantasies where we get. I may have already ship talked ship. some tight lipped <laughs> ship rides into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. Pretty sure. But the stack's a bit more involved, FF3 so I'm building it here. Ship. Thing is, a water it's ship. so involved that I'm running behind and it's oh. starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. Like sub. I'll come and see my it's dad like though ship. when I'm done. Then FF4 definitely that have those two. Have those two. <sighs> is there anything I can do yeah. to help? Good old cool Clive. Vibes. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> first things first. I need some we get parts back in. Make a ship ship. The sack will be made up of three major components. I'm trying to remember the when we actually get here, that uh, channels ship, hot ship vapors away from the engine. Like in the older Final Fantasies, because seven didn't the have helm one. over the top that disperses all that ship. heat into the air. Oh, then like our boat. Because of the and down the shield in around the sides. So I guess that, that stops the, the rest of the ship from going up in flames. Uh, eight. I don't think eight had a <sighs> like a full boat suit ship. of armor. Then probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll that. need to start with the play in. Yeah. Everything else fits yeah, onto so it. Many different. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. I don't remember Show these to them. Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. Uh, let me get this. Let's get them out. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, <laughs> you don't need to. I need to use scissors for that. Uh, let's go to Blackthorn. Let's. Teleport. <laughs> it's too lazy to run to the front. I'm sure if this was like on a regular, not regular, but you know, old gen console like PS4, it probably would have been faster to just run there. Yeah, yeah, SSD, <laughs> baby. Can I ask a favor? How would it? How would it? It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. <laughs> Spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Uh, thermal plating design. Grieger's teats. <laughs> Grieger's teats. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. 
Won't be easy though. And I'll need help. Sure you need an auto in here, will you? Bunch of materials. All right. Forty pieces. So Liz roped us all in here again, has she? <laughs> Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get to visit Sid's grave, oh yeah, I'll do what I can. Yeah, and uh, what is it we need to do exactly? Uh, interesting enough, I believe in. Take a look at this. Final Fantasy VI. There was a bid. Is this plating? The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an Let's alloy. Something that won't break alive. or buckle at a temperature she's talking about. Because before, SIDs usually are engineers. Just where you come in. I mean, this I game, SIDs is not an I've engineer. I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust. Stardust, oh, they call it. The desert. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where. We can get this over with. Building up steam. One. Uh. Yep. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Oh, do we have to choose or does it matter? Uh, we've been with Gav before, so let's uh, let Otto join us this time. Otto, you're with me. All right then. Where do we find this stardust? And how will we know it when we see it? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. And I'm guessing you'll be needing sack loads of the <laughs> stuff. Sack loads. Might be worth our importers and the Dalim Berlin. I'll head down there. See about finding us a wagon. All right. I'll meet you by the river. You two take care, eh? I'll go and see the supplier. Just don't let that bastard fleece you, eh? <laughs> fleece you. Ah, he wouldn't do that. He's Blackthorn's mate. Isn't he? That's the luck. <laughs> Is it another reason? You shouldn't let him do whatever he said. All right. Make for the river in south of Delcroy. Now oh, it's oh nice, yeah. We're right where we need to go. Oh well, yeah, last time we actually was able to find all the hunts. Which is nice. I don't have to worry about those. Oh wait, 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 wait. Probably go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's actually one more hunt left, which I think I know where it is. But it was the S rank. Like I kind of want to wait. Now, where's our town? A little stronger. Before attempting it. Okay, what am I looking for? Auto. Oh, he's just chilling there. Joker boy. What? <laughs> That's so funny. Otto. Sorry I'm late. Oh, Clive. I had a quick scout about, and I reckon this area is our best bet. Seems that water's Blackthorn's so the nice. only one who thinks smithing with his stardust stuff's a good idea. He's just lying here, waiting for any old fool to fill his boots. <laughs> but unlike any old fool, you thought to bring a wagon. Well spotted. Now get filling. I'm sure there's gonna be people trying to stop us. Reminds me of uh, like Black Sand to me. Dust in the movie Dune. Oh, it's called Glitter, right? It's been a while since I watched that movie. But yeah, there's 
big spice mining operation. I think maybe it's called spice. I don't know. But this is very similar to what we're doing right here. Grab a bunch of dirt. <laughs> Something's fancy about this dude. This should be enough for now. Let's see how Watto's getting on. He's probably getting jumped <laughs> by some foot. Foot bandits. No. How much did you get? Enough. <laughs> I hope. Nope. Five panthers. More than me. Oh, what? Uh, put it all together and I can't see Blackthorn complaining. March. Here, Clive. Do you fancy a walk? What? <laughs> it's like... Why are we doing this? <laughs> we got places to be. Sid would be proud. Mm. Of what? Everything. Of you. <laughs> you idiot. idiot. <laughs> the way you've carried on what he started. <laughs> when we first met, I had you down as a spoiled little puppy. I enjoyed nothing more than biting the hand that fed you. But five years on, you're the one doing the feeding. Mm. So thanks for proving me wrong. You weren't wrong. But I changed. Thanks to Sid. And thanks to you. When I suggested taking on his name, you were the first to back me. And if you hadn't, no one else would have. I couldn't have done any of this without you, Otto. Now get over. You're making <laughs> me blush. All I did was choose hope yeah. over despair. I gave you a chance. Yes. But you're the one who took it. You took a rabble of homeless, hopeless outcasts and put them back on their feet. Gave them something worth fighting for, just like the old Sid did. It's a heartfelt moment. They were not going to get jumped. About time I was heading back, I reckon. Always scrabbling about in the sands, taking his toll on the old pins. <laughs> I'll see you back at the hideaway then. You can take a well-earned rest when you get there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. But I'll make sure Blackthorn gets his precious black sand before I put my feet up. He'll only moan of <laughs> once. Ready to go home, boy? Uh, oh, he was okay. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Thorn. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Just for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. Nice to get out and about for once. Let's do that again sometime, eh? I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. <laughs> Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let mid no construction's underway. Yes. Alright. <laughs> so much experience for doing nothing. <laughs> uh, I think we can... Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. 
receive some more stuff for our renown level. I'm gonna see what the threshold is. Welcome to the patron's whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Only well, for me, right? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Come again. I may have more for ya. Uh, it's not up that way. It's this way. It's not that way either. How do I get there? That was the way I was going. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. Oh, yeah. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Hey. Just so happens, there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. <laughs> Lucky. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's her name? <laughs> What's her name? Right. <laughs> they know her name. Hello, Elena. Oh, Sid, is this <laughs> about the helm? What's your name? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from Jeez. stern to... <laughs> you can stop there. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. It's so, like... Mid said we might be able Shit. to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's oh. Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You oh. see, a certain... Unwanted visitor has Monster. taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's um going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Sounds good. Steam part two. Oh, nice. So pretty much all these. Actually, after this next tank quest, we'll have enough for the next renown reward. Which again, it's only two meteorites, which is nothing really. Uh, go from here. I think this is faster. Oh, yeah. We still eventually have to open these. Uh, not open. I guess. Uh, activate these stones. I like this down here. Not sure when we'll be able to do that, but 
should be pretty soon. I wonder. Interesting enough. Once we destroy all the crystals, I wonder if the whole world like levels up. That makes sense. Because again, we have all these weak enemies, so it's really, it's no point. In our so weak. Um, it just felt like yesterday <laughs> that I came out here. But. Yeah, I think we've been playing for about two weeks now, right? We can have. I, mean, I feel like we're playing forever. I think I put about 30, 35 hours in. This far. Alright, what's this? Oh. Little friends. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are. Just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, <laughs> would you mind? Exterminate. Of course. I'll be right back. Easy. Oh, what? That pickup just disappeared. Anybody home? <laughs> Hello. One of these things. This must be our unwanted visitor. Our mind to go. They're floating out. Unwanted. <laughs> that was actually. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> Why is it not in there? Alright, yeah, I feel like it. I don't know why my ignition was not in the slot. The things I do for you, mid. <laughs> Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let mid know you're on your way. Like this more meteorite. I was warrior. Right. 
Let's put ignition back in here. I don't know how that got deleted. back. I'm kind of curious on what our max level is in this game. Because we're at level 35 and we're about two thirds of the way through the main story, I think. We're seeing troops in my side every day. No surprises there. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Honestly, though, like Yours? I think in uh, most Final Fantasies, you pretty much only need to be around level 50, give or take, maybe 60 or so, to actually beat the game. Of course, there's gonna be post-game content, but like, you know, super bosses or whatnot. So I'm pretty sure at that point, you would want to be stronger, but it's not really necessary for the main game. Soon. Mid. Helena, Helena has recovered the materials <laughs> What's her helm. <laughs> She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. Bugger? How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shield in. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they'd both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Hippocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. Um, are you teleporting again? Yeah, let's be teleporting again. Actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps... It is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. An obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... Obelisk. <sighs> Pitch. Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. A 
teeth is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. Hey, it's Tarya and Jill. So you need a hand, do you? We do. <laughs> I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare oh. the shield uh, itself. Let's uh, take Tarya with can us. Can we count on your aid? We always. Well, oh, always. Well, if you Jill's have Jill game. Around. Thank you. So. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with sure whom in your capable hands, Clive. No big deal. Just take uh... Mario. So, please. Clive. Have you made your decision? Does it really matter, I wonder? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? I didn't even talk to like the two of them. Alright. <laughs> so, what are we fetching? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. Garlic. Gar Conch shells. Are you sure this is the right list? Looks like the ingredients for someone's supper. Though these items may seem mundane. They have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction. Hence, moon dews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Well, isn't that convenient? I was hoping to be able to make a trip over that way sometime soon. Need to speak to an old acquaintance. I'll meet you there. All right. Stay safe. I'll see you later, Clive. Good luck with your research. side quests. This is like side quest level stuff, but of course the main issue was uh, no. trying to get mid. Where's Tyre? Mid to uh There's talk at the glass gate. Come visit Sid's nice and Need to stock up on these. There you are, Tyre. Ah, and there you are. Oh. We shouldn't have any problems finding what we need in a place like this. But if time is of the essence, perhaps we should split up. Take a few items each. All right. What should I look for? Let's see now. Why don't you take the garlic and the pepio nuts? Pepe Meet me by the nuts. gate when you've got them. Nuts. Get your nuts. I sell or be gone. Gone. Great take it. Twenty go. Is anyone supposed to Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Ah, yeah. oh, yes. That should do it. Hopefully, Ty is finished too. Rest cuts. Come. Rest cuts. I guess technically these pretty. are like gold coins, the gill. Well, did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Job done. 
We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be waiting. Boss, we're not in too right. much of a rush, are we? Quick chat. Do you know, I think this is the very first time we've been out on an errand together. <laughs> I think you might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. Eee? For shame. Sorry. We have a girl well, it seemed already. long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here, and I refuse to pay the prices these gougers charge. I'll ask Karen when we get back. What is it? Oh, just memories. She has very I came here with Sid once, shopping for supplies, just like today. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. What? Sid even said he'd speak to Karen oh, yeah. for me when we got back. <laughs> Oh. It's really been five years. I remember it as if it was yesterday. And Clive said the same thing. <laughs> Talk to Karen about it. Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Oh. Feels a lot longer. It does. In a good way, of course. Thank you, Taya. For what? For everything. <laughs> I just want you to know that all you've done for us. Well, you still do. It's appreciated. Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it wasn't? But in the spirit of sharing and caring... You're appreciated too. By all of us. Oh. I think we've tarried long <laughs> enough. That was like I ought to get these ingredients back to Tom so he can make up this concoction of his. I'll meet you back at the hideaway, all right? All right. And thanks again. I heard you the first time. Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. Moon dew? Is that what we were talking about? Oh, I guess in my next playthroughs, probably off stream at some point. I can take the other characters to see what their special moments are. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. He's a what about the shielding itself? Medical person. Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. <laughs> of course. Tanya seems a lot more like seductive <laughs> in her way she talks. Feels a little more straightforward, but still. Oh, uh, and Clive. It was good to talk. Cutie. We should do it again sometime. 
No. It appears our work here is almost <laughs> at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. <laughs> When no. both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, some guy it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. I wonder if Thank uh you, we're gonna take boat to Sid. Oh, good. I'll see why not. But I guess this is like free experience just for like uh, you love well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. Give him some nice. Is there something stories. I might assist you with, Clive? I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them, it kind of sounds. This guy kind of sounds like uh, his name Mission. Is a rather fascinating excerpt I yeah, can to done. show you. What oh subject shall we consider yeah. today? My knowledge is yours. I have Kuka. said it many times. Hugo Kuka was a murderer, but he was also a thief. A thief who robbed us of our happiness, of our hope. And though I know it is wrong to revel in the death of another, we can take solace in the fact that he will never steal anything from us ever again. His story is ended. Thank you, Clint. Who are these? Oh yeah, the two kids. Aware? That in many cities, bearers are forbidden from having children. It is believed that the aether used to bring a child into the world hastens the crystal's curse, lessening the mother's productivity. Such is the world we live in. Fortunately, Tet and Crow's parents were able to escape that world, if only for a brief, few brief summers. But what of the twins themselves? Uh, born in the hideaway, one touched by magic, the other spared his burden. Their minds are blissfully untainted by the poisonous rhetoric of priests and politicians. Uh, they will grow up knowing there is no difference between man and bear, and they will pass that truth on to their own children, and they to theirs, until the world we live in now is but a footnote in the annals of history. Yes, change will come. And through a magic which requires no crystal to conjure, one that will endure long after the last mother crystal has fallen. I do hope the moon dew works. I hardly dare imagine what Mid might say if it doesn't. <laughs> To go. Ah, uh, they're going to mid, right? Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I don't believe I have enough for the next renowned reward. I think the next one was like 710 points. That's a lot of points. I don't know when or if you're gonna like have a lot of side quests to do. There's been a good balance between side quests and main quests. Because uh, I know in Final Fantasy 15 they just throw so many side quests at you at the same time and like hunts at the same time. And the bad thing about the hunts is that it's kind of like a fetch thing where you have to like activate the hunt and then kill it. Sorry to keep you waiting, mid. Come back. So. You'll be pleased to know that work on the shield is underway. You can kind of just go for the hunts without. Having to go to a board speaking, to activate it. Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Oh, thank me. <laughs> I'm just the errand boy. Right then, better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! Black Hammer. Is that Blackburn? The Blackthorn. You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. <laughs> didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Yeah, that. Same difference. <laughs> Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. <laughs> didgeridoo does. <laughs> Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. Biggest this hammer. It's gonna require some precision wallabin. Oh, wallabin. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, but that we're not gonna get to see this precision walloping. So sad. <laughs> Some time later. Oh, is that the whole thing? Wow, this whole time. Yeah. This whole part of the hideaway was the ship this whole time. Oh man, I wonder if we get attacked again. Then we have to like be mobile. It's finished. It's finally finished. But maybe not. Thank fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. Three. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. <laughs> you don't mean... We do it all over again. <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Fuck. <laughs> Good luck to them, I say. I was like, why can't they just make all right, of them? I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, <laughs> keep it to yourselves, eh? I was like, why couldn't they have made all of them? <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. What if she hoped that her dad could have seen this? Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. That would be really interesting so and cool that to the if there's a whole nother Every continent. scrap of soil in the twins turn black. We might still have a chance. It's a whole nother half of the game. That's what she was meant to be. <laughs> you see, right. one last chance just in case we time. needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want it to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. <laughs> yeah. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. Oh. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Yay. Are you sure about this? Something tells me get it's a ship what ship. my dad would have wanted. <laughs> and not an airship. He'd be proud of you. That'd be cool if we got an airship. You, um... But... You are gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I guess we don't really need the airship. Was. In a sense, we can and just... Come too, now that your fast travel project room. is finished. Right. There's just... One thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. A mo? All right. A mo? I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Mo? Well. Side quest time. Mid told me she was building a ship. Where's that? Mid's dungeon? I didn't realize it's called Mid's dungeon. Well, let's go there quick. Uh, I probably should just talk to Otto since he's right there. I don't have to do all this stuff. Quite yet. I'll probably just talk to Otto on the way back. Be going to the new or next high quest. What's your name? Oh. Here. That's not what Sid, I reckon you might be just the man to help me out of a bit of bother, if you have a mind bother. to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this Alembic the Chief's got me making. What? Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we will be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. Out? You. I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. Alright. Why not? 
proper job. Proper job. So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd untinged from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. Oh. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get hold of some. And do you know what I found now? It's bomb only king. the blooming bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the handboard for one just the other day. I would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. <laughs> dirty balls. You, on the other hand. All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? Weird science. Weird science. Let's talk to Otto real quick. Other side quests. I need to uh, accept the other side quests. I think it's by Hippocrates. All right, Clive. Astrid. Bitch. We'd finish sending half the Hideaway traps in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive? Huh? Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. Uh. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, man. I might still be able to catch her. Yep. <laughs> They don't believe the girl. <laughs> don't believe in it. I wonder if there's any other hunts. Curse workers don't just tack up any old rumors to this board. You know they take great pla or pains to verify every little detail, Koopa. So don't you go letting all their hard work go to waste, Koopa. Don't you let me, I mean them, down. It's about Nectar's adventures. Did I ever tell you about the time I took a trip to the islands west of the storm? You mean the Iron Kingdom? Is that what you call them, Koopa? In Google tongue, we call them smithies in the strait that separates them from the something something. I was venturing down the Dalmican coast when I saw bright lights and black shadows out in the offing, Koopa. Something something something. I can imagine my disappointment when I heard that those shadows weren't busy forward, something something, black rocks. <laughs> Why are you talking so fast, Koopa? It was probably for the best. I didn't get a chance to say good day. <laughs> oh jeez. Are you on the hunt for a bomb king, Koopa? If so, I have a billet that might interest you. Okay, so that's the S rank one, which I don't want to try yet. I'm probably able to beat it, but wait. But yeah, pretty sure there's. Yeah, it says it's in a ruin, right? Fallen giant in the Rosarian ruins. We have barely. We have lately been investigating. We don't know where it is, but I think I know where it is. Yeah, Croc Sandbrick. Isn't that in the desert? The Kurtzberger aiming for the Imperial Chase took a wrong turn into a nearby wood within which she discovered the ruins of a fallen airship, and within them, a beast akin to a great ball of fire that chased her screaming from the grove. Uh, the soldier later identified the creature in an almanac of echoes, but was firm in her instance, or insistence that the bomb she saw was near ten times the size of the one depicted there in the Croc Centerberg. Let me see if I know where that... Oh! Uh-oh. I might have messed up. I'm pretty sure the side quest will be available even after. Uh, but let me... Where is Centerberg? I don't remember. Tower wise. The dim. Set a brick. Oh, 
Yeah, it's over here somewhere. Uh, the croc. Where's it supposed to be? Where's this croc? Up here? It's like some woods. Croc. Korean rhymes. What's this croc? Croc? find it. The croc, it says. Maybe it's down there. I'm not. Can we go there yet? I don't know. Yeah, I can't really go anywhere right now anyways. It's still. I'll, I would at least want to know where it is so when I can go, I can just go. Hey, watch. Where's the croc? Google it later, I suppose. That's kind of annoying. Anyway. Uh, let's go activate the other quests. Side quests. Nate told me she was building a ship. Let's see this. Oh, it's over here. Oh, the reading table. Let's try not to activate the next thing we get before I accept this. It's Jill. Jill. He cracked the crystal too. What is all this stuff? Oh, Blackburn. Cheers for your help, Dragon Black thrown out of the dumps the other day. Thing is, I reckon he's gone and thrown himself back in. Judging by the droop of his jaws lately. So I'm thinking maybe it weren't just the leather that what was on his mind. Maybe there's other demons jabbing their pitchforks into his privates. <laughs> What's up, Mansion? How's FF16? Pretty good. I am not quite sure how far in I am, does it say? One second. I think it does tell you the percentage you're done with, right? Yeah, it says 84. Or 69. 69! <laughs> I'm not quite sure about this 84% though. It's been pretty good so far. I haven't had much of uh, any issues game wise. Uh, I think it's been pretty easy so far. How are you today? I think you said you've well, started playing Blackthorn just in case. 16, haven't you? Mention? How's your playthrough going? Uh, you finished the game a couple days ago, wow. You've been grinding it out. Yeah, I've been pretty much taking my time and all this stuff. I'm playing when I can. Bad feeling, Clive. Something ain't right with the hound of yours. When it pleases your lordship, come pay me a visit at the toll. I go back to play some of the okay, side the stuff. Togo. Nice, nice. You see well enough when I last saw him. Oh, no, not the doggo. Yeah, as the percentages go, I've, I'm assuming that once you destroy all the crystals, that's pretty much the end of the game. But it seems anyways. Now, off the record, I was thumbing through the hideaway ledgers at Otto's behest. And might have come across something that might need your attention, maybe. And by that I mean immediately, you know where I'll be. Yeah, so far every with the major ledgers. fight like against the Shouldn't icons be for help? have been crazy. Much crazier than uh, 15 was, for sure. 
Because 15 has some crazy, pretty crazy uh, fights. But... Yeah, there's spared no expense for this game. Wait, 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 wait. Tell us some stuff. Which is tech. Not even that many. We didn't get that many collectibles. With all this other stuff. Is there a lion? Well, it's probably just for fun messages that I don't really care about. <laughs> I'm taking in all these side quests. I can't really do them right now because I kind of locked your myself nose. into the next main quest. You think something's wrong with Torgor? So you can read. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. But I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said something weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as the look bones. at them. Didn't like him. Which is why I'm at the mine that his mine's on somewhere else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? Oh. I wish I had a frost wolf. <laughs> what was it he said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things have been different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? <laughs> Perhaps. Hippocrates. Blackthorn. You have a moment. Not really, no. <laughs> this won't take long. Leave me alone. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you. And you might still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well, Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. And that was? A sword. An odd-looking thing with a single edge blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. Mm. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's troubling you? Nah. No, no, no. They're not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. Oh, yeah, we yeah. can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. <laughs> You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. We're gonna talk to Karen again. You're looking well, Karen. <laughs> what you want? How were they? <laughs> what you want? I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. <laughs> Just like single edge, about pleasant, and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? I suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. <laughs> what? Lord Ignac's the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favourite clients. <laughs> yeah. Reckon he'll still be in Dalamil where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh, and he's a touch eccentric. If you take my meaning. I appreciate the warning. 
sure there's supposed to be another you, quest person. And I guess just Hippocrates. Lawsman, I need to ask you about Torgor. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite. Lady Karen. Which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. Wait, what happened over there? <laughs> I don't I remember. I rather think she might be right, though not about his appetite. Oh, when he, uh... All canids are instinctively inclined awakened his to powers. crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within. And I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgal, but a surfeit of it. Sure. If we assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain, it may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. Even so, it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. Thanks. Go there later. Uh, I guess we can go up here and see where mid is. You seen mid? Obla, have you seen mid? Yes, yeah. the guy. In a bunch. Meaning going that way. Who Obelus is? <sighs> and that's that the boatman's name. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, and she. But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, oh. as it happens. Got a letter for you. Oh. Urgent, by the sound of it. Oh. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. <laughs> And you're here now. Well, Thank you, Oblast. Don't mention it. Oh. What tidings, Uncle? Uh, my dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a resounding success. Uh, the friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the ongoings in the Free Cities, by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I, for one, believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canverian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dry docks, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, uh, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. Uh, which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, and then he might keep a watch on those who might mean our little friendship or fellowship ill and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration, your loving uncle. Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on mid. I talk to Gav. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might <laughs> want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, yeah. oh, don't be so hard on her. 
Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in and all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Kanda pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Yes. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. Alright. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. Yeah. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Oh, Jill. Because <laughs> Mid's like, I have something to take care of. And she just ran away. Oh, I guess yeah, we can't do any of these side quests, unfortunately. So that's okay. Yeah, I think talking to Otto will just lock me out of everything. This would be a quick... Quick a fight. Or whatever it is. Oh, is this Sid's grave? Yeah. It's so sad. Why'd you have to die? Then again, um, deaths in Final Fantasy are pretty common, actually. I think if there was a Final Fantasy without a major death, three probably, <laughs> um, four for sure, five, yep, six, sort of, well, Sid. not quite, seven, yes, I remember eight, what you told me. No. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you I may as well not say it. Yes. Well, no ish. Thirteen. Yes. But I will say yes. this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. The Phoenix was with us, actually, but... Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. I guess that's true. Yeah, Joshua was with us. Life actually. has a beginning. When Sid died. And an end. So we must live while we have the chance. As slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Jill. Oh, they're all here. Everybody's here. Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? 
I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. <laughs> you wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you let me go with them. Oh, <laughs> thanks, <none. laughs> Stop that, you'll break me bold, you great galoot. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders past and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet you there. See you down in Bucklad. Like, let go of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so funny. Jill, you're with me. Understood. She then yeah. Gav. Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? I just think he has like three braid or like not braids, but little ponytails, I guess, but it's like to one side, so why not? Did bounce up. You just seen that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. <laughs> New side quest yet? Oh, we're still locked in. It's fine. Finally going into the next area. Kinda close to the next the crystal. I think if they let us leave do side quests, I'll do it right now. How are you feeling? Oh yeah, let's go. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. The whole mother crystal. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Listen. Back again, are you? Any more trouble in your life? just been a tramp. You're welcome. If you're hoping for a bed, I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. Oh. My reputation will be ruined! Oh. Ruined! Calm yourself, Lord Ignac, I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. On the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! What? Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oaf this instant! <laughs> okay. Very good, Lord Ignac. Man servant. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. fractious. He's been dispossessed of his luggage, you oh. see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, 
You know Lady Karen? Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You have but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not, no. I think there's somewhere, probably. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence, and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. As far as hell. <laughs> Luckily, we do have chuckle power, so. Not that bad. And I really wish they had, like, a chuckle beam song. Good girl. Faster. Is it already? Maybe I should have had a song file to play. <laughs> a chuckle beam song. We start running slower. Just And we have so much of this stuff, this crafting material. I really wonder when we actually like craft. Do it. This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right, let's get it back to Dalamel.
I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What should I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Oh, Wyvern? Glad to make your acquaintance. Use that old name. A formidable name. Old name, old name, indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my <laughs> hands on that sword. Bro. <laughs> it was made in the outer no, isles, far beyond the that twins. Sword and is used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection yeah, like that none ever does. Odin's move. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it really interesting but how do they hone such an edge <laughs> fine question why they use a whetstone of course is that normal whetstones rather a whole array of them ranging from the coarse to the fine ten thousand licks with the sharpening stone then ten thousand more too much. <laughs> but it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness a mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. Where you talk them? And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Adamantite. Why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered, take this is together with my regards. The very stone oh, of which stone. I spoke. Far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself. And a far more fitting payment. Adamantite. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. Really curious what However, time this is. it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. <gasps> so it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis, Lord Byron Rosfield, and is a perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> I can imagine. Farewell, Wyvern, may our paths cross again. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. Dawdle. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Sundered Whetstone. So it's not even like a certain element or something. Um, third party Whetstone. Uh, what's the closest way? Just from here, I suppose. I noticed there's another one of these stones there. I wonder when we're going to be able to activate these. Yeah, I'm 
their stones possibly. In the future everything will be revealed in time. Just gonna What what? Just gonna wait. Oh yeah, I think this is where we fight one of the big Trouble. Trouble. This soon be quiet. If I were to attend to loop, it would seem like just the place. Wait, isn't this the place that, uh, Nard kind of opened up? I doubt we'll find one bigger than that. Hungry Toggle? <laughs> He's like, hell yeah. She is out here with us. Fighting by herself. So much bloody hide. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be enough, I wonder? Eat all you want. I say that answers my question. Which means we are the lawsmen, our thanks. I'm just a big puppy, aren't you? A very big puppy. <laughs> you do know you can take that with you, Toggle. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you got your appetite back. Come on, boy. Uh. Yeah, we can go back. I need to double check again where the. Apparently. Oh. Wait. Is this side quest? Confused. I remember what area was called. Oh, it's not in this area actually. It's up here. <clears throat> I had a place I needed to go. I already forgot what it's called, actually. But yeah, it's in Sandbrick. Uh, so yeah, let's just go back to the hideout. Turn in the two and then double check where the king bomb is. I wonder if I'm gonna get a better sword. I noticed you and Togel had gone off somewhere. Took him for a walk, did ya? <laughs> you could say that. So, Molly's leftovers weren't good enough, eh? That'll teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. Yep. All right, boy, yeah. all right, no need to shout. <laughs> now I know what you're after, I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? Yeah. <laughs> Take all these femurs. 
can, eh? How nice like that. In return, you can thank Tomes for me. The bloody know it all. I was just on my way to see him. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to black and all and see it's right here. Not working. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. But hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about our sword then? I did better than that. Take this. I... A whetstone. Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valisthea. Finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Hmm? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <laughs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your yeah. last, no matter how <laughs> good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattle me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield properly, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. Uh. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Oh. Or, or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. Nah. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, Sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age, and I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey, thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one, August 2. And it's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. Yay. Blacksmith Blues 2. Double. That's cool. Oh, Excalibur. Hell yeah. Can I make it? Is the question. Make me Excalibur. Back, are you? With the Excalibur. I'm saying for you, dear. No, I can't for any bomb ember. Oh, that's probably from the king bomb. Never I fight him. Look at Sash. That's not even better than what I got. Don't even know what I got. Just think, yeah. Pretty sure the soaking's no, that's plus one already. I'm guessing plus two. Let's see. Plus two might be like the same ish. Smorish. <laughs> Barely, not even. Not worth. The same with this one. One HP is nothing. It's whack. Hey. Fine. Fine. Let's talk to Hippocrates. Then we go to. To locate your quarry? We were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction. And Torgal's been a very happy hound ever <laughs> since. Very good, very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way, for your part in solving the mystery. Ah. But that reminds me. After your last visit, I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. Do you recall our conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation? About how she somehow woke the power within him? Precisely that. A reasonable conclusion, I thought. 
but one which raised certain questions in my mind. You see, the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. Mm. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature to those you describe Torgal as having used. What are you suggesting? That Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. Consider that in addition to Lady Jill, he has served as a loyal companion to you, your brother, and even the late Sid. Oh, yeah. In short, the icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say <laughs> at poor, Aww. have been diverse oh. and plenty. And that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your sword. One can but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgal. He has seemed more fierce of late. And if I'm not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. We are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> oh, he's more than an ally. He's a friend. What's this? Even a legendary king surrounded by the realm's greatest knights and blessed by the very heavens would have found himself hard pressed to unite the warring tribes of ancient Ballistia. Fortunately, we had the help of his fine and trusty hound, Caveo. Sally increases Torval's attack potency. Uh, not necessary. Also, a very common item, apparently, for these rarity ones. She was building a ship. Clive, did you get my letter? That's why I'm here. Shh. Otto won't be listening. <laughs> Is this better? A little. Listen, I've some bad news. It turns out the hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders. And it may be my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. Zero, you might say. I can straighten it out, I swear, but it's going to take some time. And I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I'd say. There you are! What a surprise! So let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due, and instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. And I'll go dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning plan? Why? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. And, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> but only 500 talents. We owe three of our most trusty friends five million gil. Each. Five million. Each. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see, and, well, I, I must have made some sort of oversight. Those ledgers were my responsibility, and it was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rossfield's purse enough. After the King's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're gonna make this work. All right. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. 
Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How'd you fancy taking these to Martha and the Dame? Rocks. The dame. Rocks, he says. Worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. A little something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure they will be. Hmm. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe and all that. I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because... you'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Us? <laughs> Sorry, Jess. Welcome, everybody. Really? How are you guys? Do you think so? No. I'm doing good. I don't. Playing some Final Fantasy 16. Star Rubies. Maybe how was your stream? How was your day? How was your 4th of July? I don't know what you've been up to. It's actually been a while since I have last spoken to you. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I want to double check where this hunt is. Yeah, it's okay. Stream is good. Nice. It's good to hear. Yeah, pretty normal day, I suppose. I went to play volleyball. Then, actually, had some uh, sashimi with uh, my dad. We actually made some, uh, yeah, sashimi at home. Uh, salmon, used salmon, uh, cured it, and then yeah, just ate it <laughs> for dinner. Um, thought this good. How are you and stream going? I'm doing good. Yeah, just chilling here. Had a couple shots with my dad. <laughs> Not too much to make me, uh, you know, tips or anything, but a little bit. I, I don't know. I guess he likes to drink liquor <laughs> while eating sashimi. I don't know if that's like an actual thing, but definitely what we did. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it's actually a very easy process. There, I tried it the first time. Uh, I tried it like. Uh, for Father's Day, yeah. My dad wanted it, so we're like, we'll do it. And then he wanted he wanted more for Fourth of July, but um, my sister didn't come over because it's like on a weeknight. Uh, but then uh, my mom just bought some salmon, so <laughs> I was like, yeah, we can make some more sashimi, no problem. Yeah, it's a pretty simple process. Um, I know for his birthday, we're gonna do it again. Um, yeah, nothing better than just raw. Protein. <laughs> just straight protein. Um, oh yeah, we need to figure out where this is. The Croc in Cenebrick. Curseburger aiming for the Imperial Chase. Took a wrong turn into a nearby wood, within which she discovered the ruins of a fallen airship. Within them, a beast akin to a great ball of fire that chased her, screaming from the grove. The soldier later identified the creature in an almanac of echoes, but was firm in her insistence that the bomb she thought was near ten times the size of the one depicted there. It says the Croc Cenebrek, but then we see this thing about the Imperial Chase. Some nearby wood. Curse Breaker. So let me look at the main map. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't actually tell us where that is. We just have to, like, figure it out. Um... So it's not in Rosaria, it says it's in Cenebrek. But the problem is, I don't know where that is. Because it says it's in the croc. Well, it doesn't show me where this croc is. It's like you see, it says little places here and there. It says it's the Dragon's Avery. Oh, the Imperial Chase. Oh, is it right here? See this little thing right here. It might be there, actually. Thing. I never saw that little entrance. Maybe it just opened up. I don't know. But yeah, so they said that about the Imperial Chase, so let's go down that spot. Uh, we can first 
do the side quest. Do a side quest, and then run to that. Um, hey, what, Bob? There's two. How the hell is anyone supposed to? Into the hunt area. And yeah, we'll see. Did you hear? Oh yeah, Jazzro. I actually have not had Boba for like over a week, I think. And funny enough, I think it's because I haven't played volleyball. So there's really no point. Or not no point, but like... My lady. I usually get Boba on the way to volleyball. Gifts. Whatever is the occasion. But <laughs> I haven't been all week, so... I went today, but... It wasn't oh on the way to... My. Boba was not on the way to Clive, you volleyball. you really have outdone yourself. So I didn't. Otto it. asked me to give it to you. I am Boba to settle the hideaways dead with the veil. Well, I guess I had that, but and there's no pearls, right? Compensate no you for the balls. time it took us to do so. <laughs> But I don't count that as having you boba. Disappoint me, Clive. I thought you might finally. Speaking of boba protein, I actually me. ordered more. So I'm running low. Tell Otto he can keep his and I bought, uh I tried to tea, tell him as much the first time. Jasmine. Around. The man owes me nothing. And matcha, Nor does the hideaway. Green tea. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely so. and willingly. They're it was the least I could do. Family, uh, yeah. You once told me Sid did <laughs> you a kindness. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's not Boba without the pearls. I'd like to do the same. Even though I know a lot of people don't Please like the pearls. Accept it. Due to text For my sake. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all yeah. you've done. <sighs> it yeah. no is pearls, rather no fetching, isn't it? Very well. <laughs> Otto is lucky to have yes. you, Clive. I doubt anything could ever replace his son. But you and the others at the hideaway are the closest thing he has to family. Otto had a son. A what? Long ago. Yes. Mm. Sid told me Otto lost him when he was just a boy. Hello, T. And blamed himself for not being able to stop Welcome it. Welcome on in. Thanks for I don't know how it happened. I Whether there was anything times. he could have done. Yeah, I live really but close to the Boba Tea shop. it weighed heavily on him. I say about 10 to 15 minutes away. And for a How while, could you have? <laughs> I was pretty much I doubt anyone having did. one almost every other day. Besides so Sid, just, I've never met a man more keen to bear his ways, sorrows in the shop. stoic <laughs> silence. <laughs> but yeah, ill habit. pretty addicting because again, it's sugary. Even though both have always so been surrounded by friends desperate to help them. Definitely good. From Sip Tea? From Sip Tea. Wait, are you in this area too? Yeah, Sip Tea is pretty much the best bow place in this area. You're Josh! A what? <laughs> Hi, Josh. How's it going? Uh, yes. <laughs> I used to go all the time. But. Uh, I took about a week off of <laughs> going. I, I guess playing volleyball. Um, I'll probably go back to playing normally, so. I'll be uh, sucking on the balls. I mean, <laughs> uh, we get some boba soon. Um, you've had it won't be three times since we all last went. Nice. I'm guessing you went by yourself, or did you go with other people? So I have yet to go back. I might go next week. So apparently, I have some relatives coming in from Massachusetts, and yeah. See if they want some sushi and sashimi. They're actually staying over at our place. We have a separate room. Oh. Yeah, they're just talking to each other. By yourself, I also went to Pokey Island two times. Place is addicting. Yes, that's also another good place. If you don't want the full, you know, uh, all you can eat, you can just get a Poke Bowl. It's really good. Uh, I usually get salmon. Just normal salmon. Sometimes I get spicy salmon, but most of the time I get regular salmon. And then, um... What's it called? They have boba there, but obviously it's not as good as <laughs> sip tea. But... Back here. 
Let's see, the white rice bowl with tuna and do extra tuna. Do you get spicy tuna or just regular tuna? I mean, I guess you can make it spicy with all the sauces they have. Spicy mayo, eel sauce. Don't they have wasabi? I don't remember. They probably do. Beans, fish, raw fish. Regular tuna. The spicy sauce the other day. Which spicy sauce? I think they have their own, like, house spicy sauce. Otherwise, they have, like, three different spicy sauces. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure... Did we talk about it? There's a sriracha shortage. Because apparently the plants that they use to make the sriracha is not in bloom for some reason. Can't recall, but I got two sauces that were spicy. Yes. Oh, that thing looks ugly. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a king bomb. Bomb. Now, have, have either of you played this game? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Burning. Oh, fire. It's funny that we can actually use fire against this enemy, even though it's a fire type. That's the one thing I don't really like about this. It's not totally true to the Final Fantasy like, franchise. Because it's always been elemental, like, we can do stuff, but I don't know if it's just the way this game set up. I, I also realize. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. oh, oh, it's exploding. Nice, it counts as a regular enemy, so it's stuck in this. Back, Josh. The ad's done. <laughs> Bomb Emba, nice. Oh, I think we can make the Excalibur now, actually. Your reign is over. Now to collect the ash. This is the never played stuff. a Final Fantasy game before. They're pretty good. Let's for sure. Any more. Like, uh, some of them turn based, some of them aren't as turn based. Some of our some of them are action oriented as this game. That should do it. Um if it winding more than this. He can fetch it himself. <laughs> he can fetch it himself. 
Uh, yeah. Let's see, where can we go? Let's go here. Get this side quest underway. Uh, let me buy another high potion and stone skin. Got a little upgrade. So I kind of panic okay. use everything. Uh, high potion. Thanks very much. I went buy two of these. I'm so there. Rich. You go. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we could just buy or not buy by craft a lot of the other accessories and gear. Just sell them. Stockpiling all my Clive, we weren't expecting you. Things. I wasn't expecting to be here, but it seems we still owe you a considerable amount of coin for your help with our rebuilding efforts. And though I doubt it's what you were expecting, we were hoping you'd take this as payment. A star, Ruby? I can't accept this. It's worth at least twice what you owe me. More if you can find yourself the right buyer. Think of the difference as interest. Interest? interest. If word got out I charged that much, no one would ever borrow from me again. Anyway, why are you the one here asking me about this? I'd have expected Otto. Bit much sending the Lord Marquis out to sell your debts, isn't it? The old goat working himself to death again. Something like that. The old goat. Most days I think he's the only reason the hideaway's still standing. Same as always, eh? Back when the place was nothing but a twinkle in the eye of a recently retired Lord Commander, word is he was the first one Sid reached out to. Probably knew that without his strong arm and level head, the idea would never get off the ground. Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's always been the backbone. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it. That Otto would just give up. His death was hard on everyone. But it must have hit Otto hardest of all. But he didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. If I recall, he was the one who nominated you as Sid's replacement. And rallied the rest around you. I reckon what he saw in Sid, he saw in you too. And don't we all? Doesn't hurt that you're half as stubborn and twice as handsome, neither. <laughs> twice that, as handsome. And you keep good company. That's funny. <laughs> I suppose I do. <laughs> Fun. Go will want to know the stones were delivered. If he's still with us. Alright, let's go back. Turn in the side quests, and then we can do the other side quests, but that's kind of on the way to doing the main. Quest. Oh yeah, I can uh maybe craft the Excalibur, if I remember correctly. I think I needed this bomb ash for it. So here we go. And I wish I they kept the uh elemental Life. weaknesses thing. So would it be. Nice. Yes, not, no scratches, right? It's not that big of a jump, but it's pretty nice still. Einstein. Interesting. I mean, I already have <laughs> the better weapon. Like, I don't even need this grindstone weapon anymore. It's pretty funny. I made this obsolete <laughs> already. Uh, I also used up, yeah, the eleven bolt, which was the flame tongue. Oh wait, wait, I already have the grindstone weapon. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, back so I had to create a highlight for one of my games, nice. Anything else? No problem. And we're just doing side quests here, nothing too major. Oh, you're afraid Jazz, if I ever asked you if you played any Final Fantasy games before. Yeah, I found out that, that that's Josh <laughs> that you brought in with you. Nick told me she was building a ship. But, um... Still alive, I see. 
So Lady Karen accepted the ruby. Yeah, I also don't remember oh, if you said you have a PS5. Uh, I tried my best. <laughs> she was just too stubborn to take it. She threw it right back in my face, oh, in fact, and told me I could stick my stupid stone <laughs> oh, where the sun don't shine. He started Karen refused payment. Switch, but didn't get far into it. I hope it wasn't something I said. I'm sure you were as not as ever. Capture your attention, or let me see what I can do. Oh, wonderful. Get into it. I hope you have better luck than I no, did. No PS5, unless you are willing to gift one. I'll uh, <laughs> spit on your wish list. <laughs> Karen, is there another side quest? Clive. Hey, babe. Time, what I really will have my head. Assuming Lady Karen doesn't get me first. Here you go. I think it didn't capture my attention because I has other games you were playing. Gotcha. I go back to it. Yeah, if anything, you can play the new one. The, the remake. Seen remake enough? Seven. I know I tell some people that, you know, maybe you should play the OG before playing the remake, but at the same time, you don't have to. Just get a kind of an appreciation for like the minor changes they did in the remake, but of course it's not necessary. Lady Karen, and so I played with the board. tells me you weren't happy with Is our it... offer, but you prefer the dead was repaid in switch? coin. Yeah, that's what that? I don't recall lending yeah, that's any like of the you HD... on the Arden Gill. I may have tossed a talent <laughs> or two in the Arduin's coffers. But those were donations, right. and you can hardly call it charity if you go asking for it back. Of course, I believe not. there's like in-game. But one good turn deserves actions. another. You can activate. And our circumstances have changed. To make it. Surely you wouldn't shun the gratitude of a pauper who easier experience? happened to have become a prince. Oh. I don't know. So you're a prince now, are you? It's not really necessary, but Fine. it's always nice but to I'm selling it and taking what I'm owed. <laughs> then you're getting everything. the rest, whether you like it or not. Take this. Where'd you even get this? A decent trader might nab a thousand talents for a star ruby. A canny one. Yeah, meanwhile. I will say Final Fantasy 16 doesn't really feel like a Final Fantasy game. Himself it feels more like a Witcher <laughs> type of game. Um, again, be probably because it's a more action-oriented game. Uh, old Final never. Fantasies are turn-based like and GRPG-esque. I feel like I'm playing commerce. a mixture between Witcher oh, and Devil May Cry. <laughs> not at all. Um, not saying it's bad. Just be sure to tell her that it's always like a pleasure a doing business. business. That I'm used to, anyways. Um, even with the remake 7, yeah, it's more action-oriented, so it doesn't feel... Uh, like Final Fantasy. I hear you ended up delivering all three stones. Thanks to this lump. Thanks to this lump. I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. <laughs> Speaking of which, I, uh, <laughs> I, I still haven't been paid last month's wages. Oh, so you remember what's owed to you then? Get your <laughs> ass beyond that disc of yours and don't get up before those ledges are square. <laughs> right away. I've seen that before. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Chalice. Very dirty. Plenty of times. Dirty chalice. It was the only goblet Sid ever used. Either out of habit, or because the filthy oh, sod couldn't be bothered to find a clean His chalice made up gold. Not I knew so little kids. about him. Like most people. Martha and the Dame. <laughs> yeah, seem to have full memories of him. Last month's weeks. <laughs> I bet they do. How long did you know Sid before he... Before he died, 20 summers, give or take. Back in the day, I was a purser on a trade ship, which is where I met him. He bought passage to, I oh, forget where, but having nothing better to do on the long nights, we set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that. On account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close. Promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was... Before fate stepped in. And said she was having none of it. 
The magic woke inside my son soon after his first name day, and there was no hiding his knack. Couldn't you and your family have? My family were the ones who summoned the constable, wanted the monster taken away. I couldn't turn my back on him, forget what I felt, and I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. Luckily, Sid was of the same mind as me, and it was him who stood beside me when all I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Wait, him, he, who cried for me that his son died. He was when I had no tears left of my own. Him, who swore he'd do everything he could to stop it from happening again. And he was true to his word, too. Left the Royal Army once and for all. His ranks, his ribbons, gone. Oh yeah, the old Sid was like threw away part of the everything Imperial he had. Peoples. All to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face. I knew then I'd follow that man to the ends of the earth. Yeah, I will say I'll, pretty much every Final Fantasy has very good whether well, social commentary or just story in general. But definitely in this game it's all about Kind of free the bearers, which are humans, but they have the power of magic. Like they can cast magic without using any crystals. He was always too clever. Yeah, for some reason, the good people of this world like shun. Saw the world for what it really bearers, was. Which makes sense. We content to go along with the lie. We yeah, this is the the no longer with us. And it can't have been easy bearing that burden alone. <laughs> But he didn't let it stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith was that Blackbeard? Faith steer us true. Like before. So I swore to myself that I'd always be right behind him. Ready to catch the stubborn sod. If ever he should fall. Yeah, he was looking for a hideout. And so they're walking in this barren land. But I couldn't even do that. Ignore me. Just the ramblings <laughs> of a tired old man. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This. This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto. I may be drunk, <laughs> but I wanted you to know Maybe this drunk. place would be fucked without you. <laughs> Love you, you old grumpy old sod. <laughs> This note. Mm -hmm. What about it? <laughs> Sid was right. Without you, he we all be lost. <laughs> I love that guy, Sid. Such a great character. He should have bloody well said so then. Oh. Just once. Before he went. But then, why would he, him, or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. That's <laughs> it for my age. <laughs> oh, he's crying. All good. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway oh, yeah. afloat. It was all of us. All in this together. Oh, yeah, this is a hideaway for all the bears. I just shot people were able in the right direction. Uh, Again, bears have a really to do that bad life in this world. They're pretty much used as slaves because they again they can use magic without crystals. And yeah, for some reason they enslaved them, even though they're technically superhuman. Would you rather go with the helm? Yeah. The only problem though is 
Well, maybe I've got more a magic few more a person years uses. In me. Without the crystals, the more it draws on their own life energy. I'm going to hold you so to that. Over time, time, they like petrify. The limbs start to petrify. Before you go. So it's definitely still a curse. But, Sid would have wanted yeah. you to have this. But that's. Yeah, we're all in this together. This will do me just fine. We do him just fine. What do we do with this cup? <laughs> Thanks oh, for the ray of sunshine. We're going to put in our. I'll see if I can't pay you back. Room, actually. Pretty sure. Already have. Well, you notice that Clive, our character, has a scar on his face. So, there's actually a certain mark they put on all the bearers that they know that are bearers. Um, it's pretty much like twin swords. I wonder if I can find somebody that has bearer's mark. Oh, yeah, this lady has it. Desiree. Welcome to the patron's whisper. Yeah, you can't really see it's behind her hair, but it's like two swords crossing. And yeah, everyone that is known to have the power of magic gets uh, branded with it. And yeah, the lights. <sighs> Burn City. <laughs> I thought that bastard's death would change things. But when I close my eyes, you still hear Jara's voice as he whispers for us to run. As he calls out to the soldiers to distract them, his word saved us, and I'll never forget that. It's just like he said words are mortal. And his, uh, living on me. Wait live on in me. They changed my life and I've wanted to thank him ever since. Only I don't know how. I wish you were here. Off you go then. He's going to want him just fine. What? Do him. <laughs> Do him just fine. Oh yeah, another thing in this story is that we used to be in a different hideout, but that guy we go uh, uh, find out where the hideout was and raided it. So we're all forced to abandon it. And now we're here instead. Alright there, Sid. Yeah, there's a bear's mark. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. Image. Yeah, it's here. Pretty much never want that. That's Mark. the stuff, and plenty of it too. And apparently, like enough to keep the Olympic the bubbling away for a good while. very toxic while. somehow. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. <laughs> right then. I don't know. It's really awkward. Let's get this contraption up and running. So there's really no way of getting it out except for like operating, or, like cutting it out. And so a lot of the people that uh, opted. Get it removed, have this big old scar on their face now. There we have it. It's kinda of interesting though, because like the it looks just like <laughs> the bearer's mark. So and it like, works just like the chief said it would. Pretty sure people can kinda of guess that Very impressive. Bearers, or that they are bearers still. So <laughs> this is the man who cut down a bird in boulder. Speaking of which, I still not return the favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Ooh. Reckon I could work some magic on that, huh? So we can hold more what potions. What kind of magic? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest Ooh. lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah, oh, I reckon if you slap a bit on your Flap bag, it. it'll loosen it up enough <laughs> for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Flap it. Well, you can't hurt to try, I suppose. Right, gonna go now. Have a good That's nice the nice spirit. Show. Sounds good. Thanks for stopping Leave by. Leave it with me. Be have a good I'll night. Be a I'll catch you throughout the week on the. I'm sure. I think we got well, more capacity. What you reckon? We can probably carry one more. It certainly version. feels more flexible. Shibata. Right? Told you. Thank you. I think. <laughs> no, no. 
thank you. Thank you. For supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your back. Never good no well. I'm right, telling you. Possible, sounds good. There's yeah. plenty more week. where that came from. The your Monday goes well. And Mondays are usually a drag. <laughs> That's a lot of experience. So we got the experience from finding the bomb. Yeah. Increasing consumable inventory capacity. Sweet. Uh, you have attained a treated potion satchel. Hereby increasing your capacity for carrying consumables. Item slot increases are as follows. Oh wow. Regular potions get plus two. High potions, strength tonics. I can still only hold one elixir, or not one, but two elixirs, and there's one for um, limit break gauge, but I don't have any of those. I don't remember how much potions heal for, or high potions heal for. It's Double? Maybe 1.5 times uh, potions. That still heals pretty uh pretty big amount. Like regular potions? It heals like 500 something. Oh, let's see. I'm saying, what's this gate? It's supposed to be inaccessible. There's actually a lot of places that are inaccessible. So I wonder if they'll open up later. I'm pretty sure they will. I don't see why they would keep it locked. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. I'm gonna fight some foot... Footmen. Foot bandits. I don't know why they call them foot bandits. Got some plants. Oh. Leg eater. It's kind of cool because I always find one thing in most of these games that's just broken, <laughs> and it's that. <laughs> it's a uh, the ignition move. So what do you think? Really? It's as bad as that? Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. Have you seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran. Leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker. But I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Good. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. <laughs> We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Botclad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So... While you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. 
All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, <laughs> no. You can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that. We'll take care of the rest. I'm not sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. <laughs> Look like you lot! Yes. These must be our bandits. Broke. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Yeah, beat you guys up too. Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Okay. <laughs> Our merchant friend will yes, be sir. delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine <laughs> warrior haul cabbages to market. Not cabbages. You've done your part. And that's all you need to worry about. Here. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. Now piss off. The There's hell? no need to be so rude, exactly, brother. <laughs> Kick your ass. What if we want his help again next time? <laughs> Why can't be so rude? Nice. That's a lot of why, right? Pretty sure that's all the side quests. I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. Oh wait. Is that it just goes around?
is this where we can see the uh, remnants? Oh no. Oh wow. The final sin. So this is the Megas. The Megas. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. A final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. <laughs> That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Five? Yes. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. This is where uh, this radiance resides. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Little oh, kid, he doesn't even want to be on the Emperor throne. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrain. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. But they can't trust uh, Dion anymore. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial Banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. A what? The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieka made flesh.
Return to your camp, Dion. And ready your forces. I don't like this. It is time to show the world the true power of Sunbreak. This kid. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Oh. Of Ultima, perhaps? Because Joshua. What nonsense is this? Hold on about Ultima. I speak my mind. And my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. He's a bitch. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. She's a bitch. You would trust the words of this traitress. Exactly. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. <laughs> the canker! Silence! Canker, Insolent Sora. wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. <laughs> They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? I'll throw his flower out of his suit. Does it pain you? Yeah. The lady you will not leave. inherit your father's throne. She's a bitch. I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. Baseball. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher. Lest your impure blood stain the throne. She really hates what bears. What do you know of my blood? I hope we kill him. <laughs> or one of our... She dies. I hate her. <laughs> uh, she'll get her comeuppance, though. The Boklap markets are to the north. Question we just need to hug the coast. And how? That's a crazy sight to behold, though. Um, yep, we're going north. There's probably gonna be huts out here later, but let's go north. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. It's over there. Yeah, we'll probably have to go there later, so I'm just gonna skip it. Refugees. And they're all making for the crystalline dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. Which is fair. Uh, I don't really want to find it. Like that. The Excalibur is pretty nice though. I do like how most of the swords are pretty, like, um, believable, I guess. Not just oversized blades. There are no crystals here. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Let me carry you, 
goods. Peaches and pears. Dudes. Outside markets. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in. <laughs> How much for a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper, not nowadays. They are more than welcome to look. Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the crystalline dominion is still in effect. <laughs> Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exit? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? Yes. He must be around here somewhere. Taste my peaches! Taste, Taste our peaches! peaches. <laughs> hey, good. Oh, good. There you are. Taste our peaches. Clive, peaches. I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, Pass. It's uh -oh. gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Oh. Do you remember okay. when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. And then a burn bumped into me and... Burn? Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. It's way too many pockets market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> it's kind of like, um, I've lightning got returns. I who might be able to help us. No it's one knows more about what goes on around here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You still go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. All right. Let's keep. Oh, just, just teleport. <laughs> Save me like twenty seconds. Oh. Better look for some darn kid. <laughs> Looking to hire a coach. What? It's ten million for a two birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Ten million. Well, I bid you a good day. Oh, wait, don't go, El. He's been made. Oh. As I live and breathe, <laughs> Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a morble. Honestly, ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little band could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. Uh -uh. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, 
But I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, Fist. the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. Oh. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Goots. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants, which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion Goods? Goods. They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah, but I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. Oh, yeah. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and Louise collared you too. Eh? Then I expect you want to know more. Apology. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely Your to catch so them. Sweet. I robbed y'all again! Now every inch of this war and the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. Okay. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? I suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. 
All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed yes. in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. A shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Questioning children. Oh, this way. Excuse me. You should come with me to the Dominion. The kid, uh... Come and taste my peaches! They're sweet as... <laughs> I don't know why that just makes me laugh. Excuse me. my pages. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop you. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. Anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Yeah. What a bit. Sorry. That's good. I'll leave you alone. I'll take the large one. The large one. Ruskin boy. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? No. Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. Excuse me. What do you want? I, I I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... Who? He said he got a job, doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tents outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. That's where we're going. Come on, come on! Peaches and pears! Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Porter for hire. That's that. She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. There are no crystals here. No crystals here. Also, is this the kid? <laughs> that big fat yep. donkey was easy picking. Oh, uh, what a bitch. He wouldn't have noticed. If we rubbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. I wish we hadn't handed over the pass, Gally though. Wag. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Mm -hmm. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! <laughs> Shit! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. So that was Hansa, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. Stick my doggy on. He can't have gone far. <laughs> but we just watched him walk off. Like, what? Daddy. <laughs> I've seen a boy. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. Over 
about you. Found Shit. you. Cornered. It's all right, Hunter. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. Questions. <sighs> Fine. Not like I've got a choice. If we try to run away, we just the people who are making you <laughs> steal for them. Who are they? Go on, boy. Call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they'd give me good kill if I did what they taught me. I knew they were bad, but it doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hunter. You found him then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. Who the... You're... Him! Him? I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the cast stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Menacing my child to do your bidding. We're Wait, pretty menacing. We're not. <laughs> we're pretty menacing ourselves. Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. It's on you. That brooch. Where did you get it? <laughs> Scoots. <laughs> Must it feel? <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? My friends. Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Sister. This day. Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. <laughs> Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you That's know okay, of the cast stones? Or got hurt. Vultures who have made Balklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. What? <laughs> That's a really weird place to in that quest. But all good. Any side quests? Oh. I don't think so. Let's do one more major quest, I guess, and then we can head out. Where them. is it? Where is it? So. What's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders pass back, and I make Bogland a safe place again. Yep. All right then. All right then. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then. The Cleft. Leighton's Cleft is to the south, past the camp. No, oh, you better not have scared anyone.
What? 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 Daddy. Chocobo. Up. Chocobo. Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Oh what? Oh, I'm <laughs> watching you jump off the chokebook. All right, let's finish these guys out. Oh. That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. You should find your own. That you should. Oh. But at least we know we're on the right track. That's a lot of desert roses. More peoples. Hello, friends. Come to destroy you. They're mages. They have crystals. Get my ignition. Good. We got Recruits are natural born ne'er do wells, especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Gonna jump right in, right? Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. I can uh, upgrade a move. My ability points. Well, I'll say it's also been a while since we've gotten another icon, but. Ha! 
<laughs> and they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, <laughs> rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Mm. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Right. Speak to Eloise. Just waiting there with her hands on her hips. We're back. Ah, Clive. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. Yep. We destroyed that. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods' pass. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way, then. Yeah. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing oh. yourself True. properly, would it now? Sid. Oh. Don't oh. look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. Yay. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. Sounds good to me. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. That's oh. Crimson Pass, nice. What is it? El has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, lower ones. Lower. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Do it. Oh. Yes. I shall bear it with pride. <laughs> so I have so many well, different badges. All that remains is to wish you a safe so it's like, on depending on where we go, we just have to like switch. Scooch's path <laughs> should secure you a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say... Nine million? Nine million. We'll try the caravan. <laughs> so you don't we don't even have a million gil, let alone nine million. Alright, cool. Oh, what's all this? Change pass. Thunderstorm cooldown. Let's see. Alright then. Let's get this. Oh the side quests. That's a lot of side quests. Is there more side quests elsewhere? No. Nope. Uh, I guess I'll just leave all these side quests for next time. And then it's on to the Dominion. 
Okay, let's uh, save and get out of here. Uh, so thank everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time.